what's up guys i'll be showing you how to make a delineator pose so what it called how it called delineator 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 or whatever okay okay so let's again you know, delete the default cube maybe maybe it's useful i'm just gonna hide it camera and the light distraction i mean distracting hide press one oh i forgot the screen cast key on over there press n to hide this okay now you know what i'm tapping what i'm clicking okay so I don't have to say I press N, I press whatever, you can just see it over here, okay? Now I'm gonna add a cylinder. There we go. Grab that over there. Oh, not grab that over there. Oh, uh, actually, you can use a cylinder and a circle, as well, okay? So I'm not gonna use the cylinder, actually. I'm just gonna use the circle for now. There we go. Press one. Then we got that basic over there. I'm going to turn this on, the snapping tool. Let me scale it a little bit. Over there. And go to edit mode. Okay, now I'm going to go to there. To the edge select. Or you can just go to vert select. Also fine. As long as not the face, okay? Because there's no face here. So I'm going to go to here. Select all. Extrude to the Z. Alright, I think that's... No, a little bit higher. Ah, let me zoom. Grab that over there. Alright. Extrude scale. I mean, extrude and S, okay? And should get something like that. Scale that again. Yep, go over there. Up. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, extrude that to the Z. No need to go make it higher or something. If you want to make it higher, then, well, that's up to you. I think that would do. Maybe it's too short. Maybe it's not. I think it's too short. All right. Okay, now, now it's true. There. Scale. Grab it down a little bit. Make some. This is just a minor adjustment. Once you're satisfied, press F to fill. There we go. All right, I'm gonna go to here. I'm gonna fill this up. Fill. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'm satisfied with it. Now let's add some. Oh, this one. All right, this one. You can see now. Control B, bevel, to make this a little bit rounder. Okay. Scroll. And you got uh, another loop cut over there. Uh, one would do. Yeah, one would work. And for this one as well. Control B. Sorry, I didn't for you because you did it before. Right, that would do. No need to be up over here. If you want, you can do that. It's up to you. Okay, I'm going to press one now. It's way too fat. Let me try if I can do this. Scale, Shift, Z. Yeah, it can. Okay, now I'm just one. Add a loop cut. Few loop cuts, okay? Six loop cuts would do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay? Press S, scale to the Z. Grab that over there. Right, so we need a three reflection. One, two three so that's enough okay now let's go to uh tech shading we, once you're satisfied with your model here okay go to shading oh wait i think i forgot something i'm gonna shade smooth shade smooth there i'm gonna go to here object data normal to auto smooth so you can see the difference now well not much difference or whatever if i turn this off Ah, that's what happened. If I turn this on, it has the shape, but it's smooth, okay? So I'm gonna go to shading now. Now, I'm gonna paint this red. This is red, new. It's gonna be red, All right? Yeah, that would do. I'm not, I don't want this to be metal. Just gonna mess with the roughness and the speckle, okay? Okay, I need to be reflection a little bit there. 
roughness I think I'm, I'm just gonna stay there I'm just gonna increase this one all right maybe if you want add some texture on it there we are texture wait there we are add anything you want okay for me I'm just gonna use the noise texture over there effect to the what is it effect to the roughness okay if you want to use color ram color ram also fine okay here we go just the scale something over there the detail i'm gonna there the detail over there all right it may be not work very perfectly but it should give some texture over there okay if you want add a bump over here the bump okay normal to the normal all right let's see now is it bumping yeah it's bumping now let's pick a pick a texture okay i'm just going to duplicate this one right back to the height it should bump it should bump yeah there we go what a way ugly but it looks real so i'm just gonna adjust this one the strength okay this just adjust the strength hmm. you know what i don't need it it i think it's turned into cement or rock so i, just, I don't need this sorry for wasting your time all right now we're done with the red and the find texture for it let's go for the reflection stuff i don't know what it calls but i just say yeah reflection stuff okay i'm gonna press alt and hold shift no press this one first alt hold alt and press there okay make sure and face select okay and then hold alt and shift okay so you can select multiple there and there all right now we're gonna go to here slot new one press new go to here and assign i should get something like that okay so i'm just gonna leave it like that all right but this one i'm gonna the base color metal lake not the metal because this is not metal if you want you can nope just leave it like that roughness we go to here because i want it to be reflection i mean reflect reflect specular over there all right now let's see if it working if it works yeah look at that we are done let's see if it works press the default cube over there all right oh select this one scale set and scale shift set all right now let's see if it works this is on EV. Let me turn on the camera and the light. Bring it over there to the X. Oh, you can just press 7 to adjust your light. Okay. With this one, if you want a different, I mean, a thousand watt would do. But I'm just going to increase the radius. Because the shadow is way too harsh. Add another one. Add another one. Add another one. Add as many light as you want. Okay. As many light as you want. Let's see, you don't want those shadow. Click there. You don't want the shadow to be reflected over there. Press that one. And the shadow should be gone. Okay. Same as the other. Shadow over there. And this one. Okay. So it has one shadow, but it has more light. Okay. Let's see now. Hmm. Yes, it works. <laughs> Let's see on the circle. Okay. Yeah. It works. You got the shape right. If you use gloss for this white stuff maybe it gives good result so yeah very simple right so that's all for today very simple and easy and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial okay now go blendering happy blendering and bye joseph bye now